Hello YouTube and Facebook. I'm John. Welcome to another video with me. Today I'm going to be reviewing a candy. This was a limited edition uh, Butterfinger Cup called the Smoking Hot Butterfinger Cup. Flavored with natural flavors. And this came out a little bit ago. I'm just now getting around to trying it. It doesn't say on the package uh, what the smoking hot part of it is, so I'm going to read the ingredients real quick. What's the peanuts? Peanut toffee, peanut butter. Here we go. Paprika. Mm -hmm. Paprika extract colors. So that's it. There's paprika and paprika extract. And that's supposed to be the whole smoking part of it. Is this a paprika pepper? I've never seen a paprika pepper. Try the saying that three times fast. Paprika pepper, paprika pepper, paprika pepper, paprika pepper. Anyway. Let's hope that uh, it adds a little bit of flavor to it. Because I don't think paprika is all that spicy. It is smoky. So I'm going to say it's probably going to have a smoking flavor. But the hot flavor, I'm not so sure about. Also, this is only the second time I've ever had the uh, Butterfinger Cup. The first time I tried the original Butterfinger cup, I really didn't care for it that much. So here's one of the cups. And you can see it does not have any paper on it. No, nope. not that it fell off. The cups just don't come with a paper cup underneath it. So let's go ahead and break this in half. And that's what it looks like in the middle. It's softer than a regular uh, Butterfinger is not crispy, it's more like a peanut butter cup. Let's give this a taste. It does have a crispy bits in it. Notice the difference in the color of the filling on the package than the actual cup. Not as orange. Okay. So, as I'm eating this, the flavors come in different ways. When you first bite into it and start chewing it, all you taste is the peanut butter and the Butterfinger crispy bits and the chocolate. Like right now, this is all peanut butter chocolate. Now, as soon as all that chocolate and peanut butter is gone, there's like a little radiant heat, like back in my tonsils, and toward the size of my mouth where I've been chewing it. Just a little bit of smoky heat right back in the jaw area. Not a whole lot, but uh, you can definitely taste that they've added some kind of spice to it. Now, I can see why these were extremely limited time, didn't come out in a lot of places, because they're kind of um, disappointing for what they are. Uh, a novelty candy which it doesn't do enough to make it a, a novelty that you'd want to try I would recommend um, because 
these are harder to find. You're probably only gonna be able to find people who are selling them who either collected them or haven't been able to sell some older ones. This is probably not one that you want to go out and pay money for uh, to those people. And you probably wouldn't want to petition Nestle to recreate these anytime soon. They're not, they're not, they don't taste terrible, they just don't need to exist. The, the little smoke that you get, the little heat that you get, you only taste it after you, everything else has been swallowed. And you get a little radiant heat right where you've been chewing it, and then a couple seconds later, it's gone. Like, now, it's back to just like peanut buttery and chocolatey bits that I'm tasting in my mouth again. So, for the Butterfinger Limited Edition Smoke and Hot Cups, I'm going to give these a 6.3. Disappointing. Wouldn't want to try it again, and wouldn't recommend Nestle coming back out with these. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the Butterfinger Cup Smoke and Hot Edition video. And... As always, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Bye.